Hello Cancer, welcome back to Fifi's Tarot Readings. I hope you are all doing amazing. For those that are new to my channel, a very, very warm welcome and cross watchers, you are definitely welcomed here as well. Now Cancer, because this is your general love reading, the roles can always be reversed. They can always be flipped. So I say this every week as a reminder, only take what resonates, apply it to your heart space, to your unique situation, and of course, to your intuition because it will never ever lead you astray. Cancer, whatever does not resonate, you know, is not part of your story. It just wouldn't even make sense if you tried to apply it to your situation. Just toss it to the side. You definitely do not need it. So I'm here to simplify tarot for you. Um, I like to get straight to the point, into the messages, into the nitty and gritty here. And my aim is to provide understanding, clarity, insight, and of course, your confirmation, Cancer. It will be very unique, very personal for every Cancerian watching this, including cross watchers. So... Without further ado, let's start. Cancer, I will be focusing on the topic of why no contact. So the reason why I am doing this, and I've been uh, also explaining this to every other star sign this week, is that I got recently an abundance of requests um, to kind of, you know, just dig a little bit more further in this topic. So whether you have stopped talking to your person yesterday, uh, last week, last month, or last year, even beyond that, you know, why no contact? Why have they not come forward? Um, the, you might want to know out of just curiosity or maybe as confirmation that you dodged a bullet with this person, um, or maybe your intuition is saying this is perhaps not over. So we're just going to find out why they are not reaching out first. Um, maybe we can get a sign here if you want to reach out first as well. Um, but why no contact, please? So cancer, please, and their person why no contact why are they not reaching out calling texting whatever it is that they do last one here we go all right bottom of the deck oh wow we got the empress this is the most abundant the most abundant the most successful the most beautiful slash handsome person in the entire deck it doesn't get better than the empress this is ruled by a Taurus. doesn't have to be, um, but I will be mentioning the star signs as I see it. Now, this person here is actually seeing you as very accomplished here, very successful. You know, they're holding you in high regard. Some of you might have children with this person. There could also be an impending pregnancy in the future. Um, you might be the mother of their children. For some of you, Cancer, your person actually might also be dealing here with the mother of their children or a divine feminine in their life. So kind of think about who's an important divine feminine in your person's life here. Um, that could be a question here. But I'm, what I'm really seeing here is that your person has really kind of sweet thoughts about you. Ooh, but why no reaching out? Let me see. Oh, your person's really sad. What's going on? The Four of Cups. This is also your energy. You might be mirroring each other, to be honest. They're kind of, I mean, if you kind of really see, analyze this imagery, because, you know, illustration is very, very important um, in tarot. Everyone here is celebrating, except for this person right here. They're actually offering them the cup and they're not even noticing it. I'm seeing here that your person, even though, you know, you pretty much pull on their heartstrings here with the Empress, um, your person's actually very melancholic. So when they think of you, they just can't help but to cry or to feel very sad here. Um, and just, you know, even think, oh, I've got this really great joke, but I can't tell cancer anymore because they're not in my life. This person is missing you. They're feeling quite apathetic, just cold towards themselves, towards people, situation and events. Now they're starting to realize that this is it. They've missed out on this golden opportunity to have um, cancer in their life. Ah, they may regret that they probably walked away from you. Ace, uh, sorry, this is the Eight of Cups, Pisces energy. So cancer, whether you were the one that walked away, it still left them feeling very heartbroken over you. If they walked away, it was instant regret here. Because male or female does not matter. Either way, they're seeing you as the empress here. Ooh, I mean, this person has packed up their bags, as you can see, ready to leave. It's in the truck, but they look miserable. They look emotionally spent here. Oh, okay. All right. Well, they're thinking here about giving you some clarity. The aces are all about brand new beginnings. This is a mental breakthrough as to why perhaps this happened. Now, I want to get into straight into, you know, in your main reading, why is it that your person perhaps emotionally checked out here? Or why did you do it? Could it be because of something toxic? We have the devil, Capricorn energy. This is about bullying, control. It's a card of extremes. It's a card of temptations here. I feel here they want to come clean and tell you the truth. The only reason why they have not come forward, no contact, honestly, they're just wallowing here in self-pity, 
feeling miserable. They've just really gone within and it's almost like, woe is me. Like, honestly, your person's just really, really, they're really depressed here without you. That's why it's like they're just wallowing in that self-pity, over drinking, they're doing something. They don't realize all they have to do is just pick up the phone, give you that clarity about this. So with the devil card, you know, yes, your person could be over drinking here or really just in their shadow, their shadow side, you know, really falling into that depression here. Um, or they could actually be dealing here with someone toxic. So in the instance, if you were in a third party here, um, I think your person wants to tell you something about this toxic person here. Hmm. Oh, wow. All right. Well, I hope they get out of it because, they, you know, their hopes here is they want to give you that clarity and hopefully cross their fingers. Maybe there's glimmer at the end, you know, light at the end of the tunnel to start fresh again. So what is the head of your reading? Oh, wow. The star. So there's a major here for Aquarius. So your person deep down inside, they're being quite hopeful. You know, they're focusing on hope, faith, renewal, washing away everything that happened in the past. Um, as well, they're really focusing on healing. You know, it's like a bit of a roller coaster of emotions. First, they're really hopeful when they think about you, then they get really depressed down in the dumps here emotionally. Um, so this is actually also the card of destiny. So yeah, okay, maybe, you know, we're really seeing here that this is perhaps not over. Um, there's a lot of emotions here. I'm really picking that up, but this is also a wish being granted here. So Cancer, if you really are hoping for your person to reach out, honestly, I, I'm kind of seeing here, it's going to, um, it's going to answer a lot of prayers here. What else do we have? The Nine of Wands, Sag energy. So how's your person feeling? Really tired, emotionally spent, physically really tired. There could have been some gossip around this connection. A lot of people talking about it, you know, giving a piece of their mind when they shouldn't. So your person's feeling very defeated, very deflated, very tired, but that is the wounded warrior and the wounded warrior does not give up. So yes, secretly they are not giving up on their dream come true, which is you, Cancer. A lot of you literally could be in the spotlight doing something where it's garnering a lot of attention here as well. Six of Cups. Mm-hmm. Scorpio energy. This is my reconciliation card. So you might hear a lot of other readers saying blast from the past. This is it. <laughs> Absolutely. There definitely could be children involved here, perhaps between you or you have yourself or they have children here. Um, so it talk about a wave of emotions. They're feeling quite nostalgic here, thinking of those better times. It might bring a smile to their face, but then they get quite melancholic and they get really sad here. I'm definitely seeing a past life connection, which is probably why it's very difficult for your person to let you go, especially emotionally. Um, you know, when they're feeling kind of really just tired and defeated, they're thinking, wow, you know, well, cancer was the one that always lifted me up here. It's very interesting to know who or what this devil energy is representing right now, though. But they will be asking you for a reconciliation, though. We also have your energy. We have the chariot cancer energy. Some of you could be dealing with a fellow cancerian or strong in their chart. You could actually be also in a long distance connection or what's also happening here. If you're not, it's almost like they have stopped feeling your energy. I think that really bothers them because now you feel very distant from them and you're like completely just out of reach here. This is the card of sheer determination. It is the fastest card in the entire deck. I am seeing here that your person actually very well may, you know, kind of pull themselves out of this emotional hole that they that they're in um, and literally charge towards you <laughs> um, just to get this over and done with. In other words, it's like they want to know cancer. Do you want me back? Yes or no. Um, and can we clarify with our Ace of Swords everything that's happened and what I want for the future? So this is sheer determination. They want this to be successful, though. Very interesting. What's the beating heart of your reading? This card will affect all the other cards. Is the Six of Swords. Mm -hmm. They're taking their heart with them and they're going straight towards you. Ruled by Aquarius. Again, showing me there could be some distance here between you. I see your person could be moving on or at least detaching themselves from whatever is toxic in their life. Um, sixes are about healing. So I like this. The, you know, the whole intention here is that they want to heal the connection with you. But like I said, no contact because your person at the moment, they're just kind of wallowing here in like self-pity, um, feeling extremely bad about themselves. I think they need to lift their head up before they miss out this opportunity, which I'm seeing action here. They want to move into calmer waters with you. Yep. And have it all with you, the Ten of Pentacles. This is Virgo energy. This is the family card. It is stability. It is commitment. Having the children, the home, even if it's a blended family. Um, they actually always saw that with you. So they're projecting a lot into the future. They're thinking a lot, but at the same time thinking, geez, I couldn't have had this with cancer. Um, now either they walked away, I walked away, and I don't know if I can even have this anymore. I think it's important for your person. They're really family oriented. They do want to carry on family traditions, have everyone together. 
under the same roof you know as a for them it's like a full house is a blessed house but they want you part of that oh yeah ace of pentacles right underneath the chariot so they want a solid new beginning with you where it's how could i say this so instead of you know metaphorically we, we've heard this saying before instead of starting you know on sand which is very uneven they want a solid beginning here like this where it's just a solid platform so you know this they basically tells me you know that they, they pretty much want here solid commitment with you in the near future we have the knight of pentacles virgo energy this is the slowest moving night, but my absolute favorite night. This shows a passage of time as well, where um, it's actually been a while since the last time you spoke to this person, um, but it's definitely telling me they're moving very slowly. And I, I, it must be very frustrating here. Um, it almost seems like perhaps you think, Cancer, this person has forgotten about you. No, they haven't. As we can see here, they're crying over you as the Empress, but um, they're moving slowly because they're really chewing on the idea of what to say to you what to offer you the changes they're willing to make how they're willing to prove it to you and well how can i make up for any damage that i've caused here and we also have in the outcome the six of wands leo energy this is another success card so you've got two victory or success cards here this is personal victory here um, but it shows here also that it's not going to happen overnight if anything i see here that there is a huge possibility here to kind of meet in the middle but um, it's saying here, I, I, I also believe, Cancer, you're going to take this very slow. So success for this relationship, this connection is definitely assured. But I feel here, consciously, both of you will make the choice to take your time. So important to help to notice you've got the moon and you, you had the Hierophant as well. So the moon shows that emotions are running very high. There could have also been secrets, um, such as maybe a secret love affair. Um, you know, was your person married here to someone else or, you know, at least you saw each other getting married. So, yeah, there was a lot that was happening behind, behind your back, in other words. So whether your person was not ready or they acted childish here, um, boy, they're just wallowing in self-pity now. I'm just really getting that your person is just exhausted mentally, physically. Oof. They really don't want to talk to anyone, though. Oh, OK. Some highlighted messages there. Two more. Last one. So what are these cards straight about your person? Yeah, the Ten of Cups, Pisces Energy, my Happily Ever After card. This is an excellent card here for um, reconciliation, for commitment, engagement, marriage, having the beautiful, you know, um, domestic bliss, pure joy, children or blended family strength card. See, your person has been holding back. Um, they know they have been, but it's taken all their strength. If it was up to them, they wouldn't have approached you a long time ago. They're just really wallowing, you know, trying to find the bottom of, you know, the bottle if they're drinking a lot. But the Hermit, Virgo Energy, um, yeah, self-imposed isolation. Oh, yeah, your person's feeling really sorry for themselves. I feel like they don't feel like they're strong enough to come forward yet. But boy, are you always on their mind? But yet, yeah, don't, don't fret. We've got the Emperor here. Aries energy, this is the divine masculine. So you do have the divine feminine. We had the empress and now we've got the emperor. So it's almost like they're seeing you that, yes, we were the perfect match. And then I went and I screwed it up with some lies, um, even some possibly deceit, some secrets here. They will be taking action. We have the king of um, cups. Scorpio energy. I like how we've got this really grown up energy now. Um, this person absolutely loves you. What they hate here at the moment is that, well, they can't reach you, <laughs> um, even though they, they can. But um, yeah, no, they, this person is, how could I say this? I think like they'll be taking action to fully tell you how they really feel. Um, they may have not told you exactly the truth in the past. The seven of cups here. Yeah, I feel like they don't know how to approach you because we have judgment Scorpio this is unfinished business this is also my reconciliation card where your person has had huge major epiphanies here um, yeah I feel here what's happening is that they know that towards the end you felt like an option that you know they may have had options as well such as maybe go to an ex or entertain someone else or stay single you know they had too many options here they shouldn't have grounded themselves come back to earth and make a decision and that's the thing. Now they're really, really regretful here. They just weren't entirely honest. Now this couldn't have been timing. Um, maybe it was a third party as well. Were they committed to someone else? There was something there in the middle where they chose the easy route and they left. But now they just don't know how to approach you. They're just, mm. 
let's clarify the the star is with my favorite my absolute favorite card in the entire deck is the sun ruled by leo you make them happy you always did cancer this is probably why they they're just kind of like drinking or they're, they're doing something here even self-medicating eating too much gambling and that's just the only way to suppress their feelings because i can't believe how stupid they were and I say that with respect. Now, the rays of the sun will illuminate anything that your person kept hidden here as well. Um, it's a card of pure joy, blessings, happiness. It's, it's already telling me perhaps there's a very happy outcome here. Clarifying that nine of wands. Yeah, the eight of wands. Sag energy. This person's going to be reaching out to you. So you got the fastest card and now you got the second fastest card. So it's a sudden flurry of activity, sudden, a lot of movement here. I see here, it may make you quite happy to hear from them, um, but also at the same time, they do have a lot of explaining to do as well. Um, I've been what's been going on about what really happened here. Don't worry because the sun, as I said, they're coming in with the truth. They're coming in with illumination. Lots of messages coming your way. Let's talk about the six of cups. Yeah, there was a third party. Mm-hmm. They may be returning back, just be mindful, they may be returning back with a third party still lingering around, especially if it's like an ex-spouse, um, if there's children involved, if there was marriage involved here. They're coming back though, but they're very aware that they broke your heart, Libra Energy. This is the only card, pretty much out of you know every single deck, the Three of Swords has no one in it because the damage has been done and everyone's gone their separate ways. Um, it is their intention here to heal your heart though, um, but they will be messaging you and this is going to be a very hot topic um, about you, about them and that third party. Mm. Clarifying the Chariot is with the Death card, Scorpio Energy. Interesting. It was through their actions here that led to this ending, which they do wish want to bring it back to life with the judgment card. Um, I think they really need to get out of their emotions and out of their head and look up, though, because the death card is also known as fate. Um, it's about transformation here. It's about rebirth, bringing it back to life, but them coming back as a better version of themselves. Mm, old habits, third party, anything that was in the way that literally, you know, metaphorically, it must die. So let's talk about the Six of Swords. The Two of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. Okay, this is weighing up the options here. Yes, it's about decisions. It's about choices. Your person may have actually been trying to juggle you and someone else in the past, and that was very unsuccessful. They failed miserably, which led to this ending. Um, but I'm also seeing now that when they want to move into Karma Waters with you, now it, you know the ball is in your court. Um, I think you're going to be weighing up your options, saying, well, do I really want to give my heart to this person? Do I really want to commit to them before? Or am I good on my own? Um, either way, listen, I'm seeing here we can have a very successful um, second chance here if you take it slow, though. That's just to give you more confidence in your decisions. So it's going to be decision time pretty soon. The Ten of Pentacles is clarified by the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn Energy. Hmm... We're getting messages here, lots of messages, but they're coming up with very grown-up energy, which I really like now, not that immature energy. Um, this is face-to-face -face communication as well. Um, I see that they're projecting a lot into the future of what they want with you, especially what they knew they could have had with you um, or maintained. So they do want to see you face-to-face. -face. This is my, out of all the pages, this one says, I need to see you face-to-face. -face. And if it's a long-distance connection, I, at least FaceTime. I think that's probably the only way they can read you. Um, probably through your facial reactions, just to see how are you going to respond and react to this Ace of Pentacles, this brand new start. Yeah, we got the star again. Um, so we got the star there with the sun, we got the star with um, the Ace of Pentacles. So we do have here a wish coming true here, a successful brand new beginning here, which comes with a lot of healing, especially after what your person did here. So we do have a toxic third party um, that was always interfering. And I'm saying it's going to probably happen behind your back. You know, there's probably a lot of stuff you're not aware of. So clarifying that Knight of Pentacles is the Two of Cups. There you are, Cancer Energy, the true card of love. Two souls uniting together as one. So your heart space, though, is saying to not give up on this person. They're not giving up on you because you're both mirroring each other here. Um, so you've got your ideal match as the Emperor and the Empress. The Two of Cups is saying you're the perfect match. Your person just made some horrible, bad decisions in the past. It was instant regret. Um, and that's the only reason why there is no contact yet, because they're just wallowing in self-pity. They're utterly, I'm going to say it, they, they, they look very depressed here. They may be suffering from depression, which I hope they're getting help for, of course. Nobody, I mean, I don't want to see anyone suffer. Um, 
but they just really need to get out of that. Get out of their head, get out of their emotions and take action, which I'm seeing here, they definitely will. Clarifying the Six of Wands is the Hierophant, Taurus Energy, my commitment card, my engagement card, my marriage card here. So this person is coming back long term. Um, they don't want to go anywhere. They want to do it right. Now, even though your person, they could be very you know, um, open-minded and flexible and a fleet free spirit. They want to do things right by you. Go down the traditional route here um, as well. You know, do right by you, by your friends and your family, and just do things correctly this time and commit only to you, which we're seeing under the Six of Wands that in due time, it's going to be very successful. Cancer, this is a really positive reading. I don't always have the luxury of saying this with other star signs. And I do apologize if I talk fast. It's just that um, more often than not, I get a lot of messages um, and I want to make sure that you get all of the insight that you deserve. Um, but yeah, that's the only reason why they're not coming forward. They're just stuck in that four of cups in that nine of wands. Like, you know, nobody wants me anymore. Cancer doesn't want me. And like I said, they need to get out of that. And they will definitely expect some messages coming your way. Cancer, I will leave this here. I thank you for joining me. I will see you in the next couple of days. Um, and I do appreciate hitting that like button. It may very well help reach a fellow Cancerian that perhaps would like to hear these messages. I will see you soon, Cancer. Take care. Bye.